Good afternoon, Poggy Sports, and welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 13 video, bring you a regular Giratina team. Now, we have used teams with Giratina Origin on the channel before, but this time around, we're going to use a regular Giratina. You guys are wondering, yes, I'm running that out of ideas for Series 13, but alas, we do have Series 14 around the corner, and we also have Scarlet and Violet coming up very soon, and if you guys aren't already subscribed to Poggy Sports and you enjoy seeing competitive content, Scarlet and Violet's going to be the pinnacle of competitive Poke Sports, so you might want to subscribe so you don't miss it. Anyway, we got a team by Kanto Clark, also known as Nick Clark. Hi, Nick, uh, who does have a YouTube channel. Make sure to link that YouTube channel down below in the description. Um, it's a very interesting team. Well, like we have a lot of different options, right? If we don't see Zacian on the enemy team, we bring the Xerneas no matter what. No if, ands, or buts. We have the, the Whimsicott for... Um, Tailwind and Fake Tears, which is really good with this mostly special attacking team. We also have the Giratina with a weakness policy. Someone's going to pop it. I don't know who, but someone's going to pop it. I mean, I could always Sucker Punch with my Evil Tall into Giratina, but that'll do half of its health bar. Don't think I want to do that. I think I'm just going to let Giratina be the Dynamax option most uh, most times, most of the time. And then just let something proc it through Osmosis. I don't think I'm going to proc it on my own. But overall, the team seems pretty darn strong. It's six restricted and a Whimsicott, so who can ever complain about that? If you guys are excited to see this Giratina team in action, I guess it's actually in theme because the team's name is Spooky, and we're getting kind of close to Halloween, so cool. I'm glad that I did that on purpose. Anyway, let's go ahead, get on to today's video. Ooh, Cresselia. It's definitely an interesting team, not going to lie. I could totally break through it, though, right? If I just go Yvithal Whim. Yeah, you have Wim Ogre. Hold on, I like where this is going. I'm not bringing Xerneas because double steel types. So I think you have Wim Ogre Giratina. Let's do it. They have a lot of Pokemon weak to Ghost, actually. They have three. So Giratina might actually be a very good play for us. And those three Pokemon that are weak to Ghost are also weak to Evil Tall. So bringing both Giratina and Evil Tall is going to be great for us. The question is, I don't know if I Dynamax Evil Tall or if I Dynamax Giratina. I feel like they're both meant to be Dynamaxed. But we'll see. Okay, they're going for the, the whole bulldoze shenanigans. Fine. I guess that's cool. Can I deal with it, though? I, th I think I can. Can't I just outspeed it? Smack it with a max darkness and be okay? Like, they're going to proc it no matter what, right? I don't think I'm actually worried about the damage output coming out of that. What's it called? Calyrex? So yeah, I'm just going to Tailwind, and I'm just going to... I'm just going to attack. We'll just do that. And then maybe... We won't just die instantly. Who knows? <laughs> I'm always afraid of proccing a weakness policy, especially when it comes to Solgaleo, just because of how consistently powerful Solgaleo is as a Mon. Did they not Dynamax? Oh, they're dead. Like, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Why wouldn't you Dynamax? There's not a chance. <laughs> they bring all three dark type weaknesses to this battle. Yeah, I don't know. That was a weird, that was a weird turn. They didn't even attempt to live. Astro Barrage. Okay. You got me. I was barraged astrally. Thank you. All right, what do you got next? Reshi, that's scary. Okay, I guess they didn't. I guess they were just accepting it. You know, at that point, they were just accepting the fact that they were gonna die, and didn't care what happened to them afterwards. I'm gonna double into the Kali just so I can knock it out here. Even if the Kali protects, it'll probably break it down to Sash still. It does mean that I'm gonna have to take a Reshiram smack in the face, but I think Reshiram doesn't really pose too much of an issue. I, I, I'm saying that loosely because it is an issue. Not a huge issue. I take back what I said about my opponent not Dynamaxing the Solgaleo. I guess there was no point if they knew that they had no way to knock out my Evil Tall to Dynamax, right? But anyway, here's a Moonblast. And here is a special defense drop for your Reshiram and a dead Calyrex. So next turn, my plan is, if my Whimsicott can somehow magically live this turn, the plan is, we go for the fake tears onto the big dragon. 
we go for the darkness onto the negative three big dragon. Man, we do a lot of damage. I'm hoping it's all vest. Max flare. My poor whimsy god. Never mind. I guess my plan will never come to fruition. Unfortunate. Um, not awful though, because I can just switch into something more relevant than Whimsicott. No offense, Whimsicott. <laughs> I can switch into like Ogre. I can switch into Giratina. I think I'm switching into Giratina. Just because, you know, Giratina video. Giratina the Cherished. I love that part. That's a really cool one. All right, what's your last? Seish. That's rough. That is rough for us. Nevertheless, we have Tailwind for two more turns, right? Good. So no matter what, we can attack into the station. And we should at least be able to Dragon Pulse into this Reshiram. Just for some damage, right? I can only hope. That's fine. I think this is still going to do a lot of damage to the Zacian. Even behind the Protect. And I'll still outspeed next turn with the Heat Wave. As long as I can live this turn with Reshi, with uh, Evil Tall, we should be okay. And I feel like they want to attack the Giratina, right? Hopefully. Dragon Pulse! That's not doing a lot. They might be a Soul Vested there. Because remember, they were negative one. Oh, they have Rock Ball? They're definitely a Soul Vested if they have Ancient Power. Oh, that's fine. Please. I ain't worried about that in in the slightest. Not worried about that. I should double into the Zacian now, though. With a combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. If you guys don't know what that is, it's Heat Wave plus Earth Power. You guys can decide why later. All right, cool. Heat Wave plus Earth Power. The combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell move. Let's go. We'll deal with Reshi later, if we can. <laughs> Don't know if we can. We'll try. Definitely try to deal with it later. Quick attack! We live in, though. Beautiful. They needed a crit there. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, game! I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, what do I say after that? Here's the thing. Man, dude. <laughs> This is, this is, this is not, not good. I have to attack Zacian again. And hope that one of my two attacks goes through. If Zacian protects, then good job, man. Now they be blade, okay. Into who, though? So I could have Sucker Punched. Oh my goodness, dude. I was worried about Sucker Punch. Just because I, I thought they were going to quick attack and then... Cancel my Sucker Punch. I should be able to outspeed Reshi, though. Nice. Good. You connect. At least you connected. <sighs> I was so tilted. I am so tilted. All right. It's fine. It's fine. We have the Ogre. Rock Slide. It's Ogre versus Reshi. Reshi has Rock Slide. Oh, wait. It's physical? Oh, I thought it was Ancient Power. Is it mixed? It might be mixed. It does have Assault Vest, but it's negative one. All I got to do is click Water Spout. I got to check if I'm fast first, though. If I'm max speed timid, I'm clicking Water Spout. If I'm not, I'm crying. Send the rain up. Nice. Good. Very, very good. Let's see. Let's see. Am I max speed timid? Please don't tell me Clark hit me with the Sloger. Thank goodness. Okay, cool. Max Speed Timid Ogre with Mystic Water. There's no better play in the world but a Water Spout. Clap! Good riddance, Reshi. 
Good riddance, Rashi. Nice. Taking home a game one dub. That's what we like to see, folks. That's really, really good. Nice. Uh, Giratina ain't do much, but it ain't die from a max worm win from Rashi Ram. So just that simple fact, pretty impressive, right? Up against an Avalug. That was not on my list of things to do today. Now, I do see Zacian and I do see Dialga. So, Xerneas, I'm sorry you're not coming to this battle. But, Giratina could make some things happen here. Now, I don't have Shadow Sneak, unfortunately. But, you know, I could still make some things happen. I do have moves with attacks. I think I'm definitely going to need a Whimsicott no matter what I do. Specifically with Fake Tears. Maybe Whimsicott Evil Tall is probably my best option. That's just like an incredibly high damage output. I'm also going to rock the Giratina because that's the Giratina video. And last but not least, I'm thinking it's between my own Zacian or Ogre, but I'm leaning towards my own Zacian. Yeah, that should be fine. Now, I'm worried about Sableye, and I'm worried about Avalug. Uh, I don't know why I'm worried about Avalug. I just have a feeling that Avalug is going to do something that I don't want it to do. Up against Smokes. I think I saw you right on the Discord one day. If you guys don't follow... Or you're not a member of the Pokesports Discord. Go ahead and do that. Link's in the description. Zacian and Avalog are going to be the lead. We're getting to see it, man. We are getting to see it. Do I like to see it? No. Because it is terrifying. This Zacian can probably one-shot my Evil Tall too. And the Avalog can definitely one-shot my Evil Tall, right? I could go for Fake Tears. I could go for Tailwind. I think I'm just going for Tailwind right away. And I do have Heat Wave. So maybe like a Tailwind plus Heat Wave combination. What's my item here? Is it Life Orb? Okay, I might have a chance to knock out this Zacian. But I have a feeling Zacian isn't going to be the problem for me. I have a big feeling that Zacian is not going to be the problem for me. I'm going to try, right? I'm going to try to take the shot here on Zacian. By Dynamax and Evil Tall, which is weird because I said I would be Dynamax and Giratina, but I guess I've already lied to you all. Listen, this is just the best option right now. Actually, I just realized a lot of my team is weak to ice, so the Avalog is kind of a pretty dope pick. All right, cool. Tailwind. Guess what? It's windy outside. Here's a flare. Enjoy it, dog. Life Orb, Max. Eevee to live! Wow! Sad. I am so sad about that. Oh, you're gonna knock yourself out though. Okay, that, I guess that's kind of cool. The issue is, um, I have a feeling Avalog is gonna throw a, a, a brick, a brick of ice at me. Avalanche, yeah, Avalanche from the Avalog definitely does hurt. I live though. That's that's still pretty good. I'm kind of cool with living. Incense joining the party. Don't know how I feel about that. Do I just take the shot on Avalog now? I can't fake tears, unfortunately. I can moonblast. Does Avalog have sturdy, right? So yeah, I should moonblast Avalog. And... I guess my highest damage output is probably Max Darkness. Even though I am in the sun, so I guess it would be Max Flare. The issue is they could switch into nothing once I take a Max Flare. Okay, never mind. I'm going for Max Flare again. The Avalug. I wish I had Helping Hand. But it's fine. Let's just eliminate Avalug from the game if we can. If Smokes goes for a Protect, we're screwed. Okay, no, no Protect. We're perfect. We're just going to eliminate the Icicle. The fact that Moonblast did that much is actually hilarious. I know Avalug is notoriously known for having a very, very, very low special defense stat. What's the instant going to try to pull on me? Probably a Flare Blitz in the sun? Yeah. Okay, that will knock me out. I I didn't bring Ogre because my brain told me not to, but I'm, I'm regretting not bringing Ogre right about now because Ogre would have cleaned up this instant no problem. Especially behind a Tailwind. Ooh, I have in prison. Okay. Different. I'm going Giratina, though. Just because I could say I brought Giratina to the game. 
What is their last? Dialga. Ooh, this is bad. Not really. Cause I have fake tears, and I can I can make some plays with fake tears. Um, this would be a very gutsy play. Should I make it? <laughs> should I do the gutsy play or should I just talk about doing it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this very gutsy play. I'm baiting them on to a dragon type move is what I'm doing. Let's see if I can pull it off. The issue here that I'm having, though, is that I, I don't know. I don't have Sacred Sword, which would have been really nice right about now. Ogre would have been really nice right about now, but instead I was like, nah, forget it. I'm bringing Giratina. <laughs> Dang it, man. All right, let's see if they fell for the bait, though. If I wasted a Dynamax turn on them successfully. Did they fall for the bait? Fake tears. I got to lower that special defense as much as I can. Nope, they didn't fall for it. Did they go for Wim? Okay, good. At least they went for the Wim. Wim's going to live at one. What's the instant going to do? The fact that the instant defense rose is not good. Parting shot. That is also not good. Quantization. Okay, so instant's essentially at plus two defense right now, which is really bad. Um, I could only go for Moonblast here onto Dialga just to try to take advantage. And then I'm also just going to play rough into Yinsen. Hope that I crit. I'm in a bad spot right now. For multiple reasons. Maybe I should have actually not gone for Moonblast onto Dialga. I just want to chip it a little bit, you know? I want to try to waste that Dynamax turn because I'm I'm convinced I can beat Dialga with Giratina. Oh, that's good damage. Special attack drop. No. Man. Yeah, I'm convinced I can beat Dialga. As long as the Giratina... Has a couple of defense drops on it. Or the Dialga has a couple of defense drops on it. So that, you know, I could just click some moves. And the Dynamax has to be over too, of course. It's fine though. The Wim will be going down. The Giratina will be here. I can't protect against the Dialga going for max etc's. Which is bad. <laughs> and my Tailwind's now gone. Which is also bad. Double bad's happening right now. Now I'm wondering if I should play off again. I'm going to Shadow Ball the Dialga because I don't want to give it Weakness Ball yet. I also have to play rough the Incent again. Should be enough to knock it out. Yeah, should be enough. Incent can't protect. That's like my only saving grace here. It can, but it typically doesn't. All right, Shadow Ball. It does a lot, man. It does do a lot. Hailstorm. That's not Wormwind. And I just found out that I am faster. Oh, don't tell me if I knocked out this instant this turn, I would have had a chance here. Oh, smokes. You're going to do me like this. Oh, you're going to do me like this, man. That'll be GG. I don't think I can pull this one out. Oh, never mind. Hold on. We in this. We're in this. Smokes, I thank you through. I thank you through. Oh, never mind. We're not in this. We're, we're, we're going to lose. Smokes, you're fine. <laughs> Ignore me. The only chance we have is if Smokes decides to go for parting shot again for some reason. But there's no spread move that I have to win the game. If my Zation won or lived... Or if that Ensign died, I would have had a pretty good chance. But as it stands, no. There's one way and one way only that I win this. And that's a... Does Roar of Time miss? I need Dialga to miss something. Or I need Dialga to protect for no reason. That's it. I'm going to go for the Ensign this turn. Yeah, never mind. GG. GG. I don't think Dialga's going to miss. Because Dialga doesn't have to miss. Right? It has Hailstorm, so it's probably off of Ice Beam or Blizzard. Blizzard can't miss. It's hailed. Yeah, GG. You got me, Smokes.
I ain't getting three wins in this one. <laughs> Not bad at all. It's a very close game. Came down to two Pokemon, though. Came down to two Pokemon. I think I brought the wrong ones, though. I really do think I lost the team preview. Lyperd. Lyperd on a potential Trick Room team is a little bit terrifying. Especially since I don't have a great way of dealing with it. Also, that Evil Tall is a little bit terrifying as well. I feel like I could theoretically set up a Xerneas here. I just have to get rid of the Zacian first. Which is the real problem. Uh, no, I don't. Because here's the issue. If they go Lyperd, they have a fake out, right? So I'm going to need to come up with a play. That's a scary looking team, man. Okay, I think for now I'm going Whimsicott. And... Might be a max Ogre game, believe it or not. No, I don't believe it. I'm going Whimsicott and Evil Tall. I, I really want to bring the Xerneas, and I don't know why. But I'm going to settle for an Ogre. And a Zacian. I'm not bringing Giratina to this battle. And there, there, there's, there's two reasons I'm not bringing Giratina to this battle. One, I think Giratina is a little redundant with the Evil Tall in this battle specifically. And two, my opponent is top 300. I don't know why I'm pairing with top 300, but I am. So I feel like I'm going to have to try really hard in order to get a win. And I really want to taste my fries. I, I, I ordered fries and a burger. I've been smalling them for the last two battles. And I really want to win so I can eat these fries. Anyway, they're going Lyperd and Groudon. That is not a very normal combination, I do have to say. Question is, do I want to pop the, the Lyperd? Or do I want to wait and start doing damage to the Groudon? I'm going to protect here with Wim. I'm going to Dynamax Max Airstream for now onto the Lyper just to do some chip, chip damage here. I do have Fake Tears. And I could go for like Max Darkness onto the Groudon just to guarantee I knock it out with the Fake Tears. But I don't want to do that yet. I'm just going to protect Wim because the, the you know clear move is to fake out the Wim this turn. You know, why wouldn't you? The next turn I can set up Tailwind if I really need it. But as it stands, I don't need it. So I'm going to hold it for as long as I can. And I'm just going to settle for, for fake tears until I do need it. All right. No Dynamax on my opponent's side of the field yet. I'm just going to protect with the Whimsicott. I hate you. I really hate you. <laughs> oh, I am so sad right now. Now they just double protect and make me sad. Oh, I hate yawn, dude. And it's such a safe yawn, too. Are they not prankster? How are they able to yawn me? They're not prankster. Because you shouldn't be able to yawn me if you were. I'm so sad right now. Man, what can I say? I have to burn my... I, this is bad. Okay. I guess we're Moonblasting here and we're losing our Dynamax right away. Like, I, I can't afford to be asleep right now. I really can't. I can't believe I just hard swapped my Dynamax like that. They're an unprankstered Lightbird. Dude, that's wild. I thought I was safe. From everything. Turns out it's not Prankster. It's just fast. It's a fast live bird. Man, here's the Snarl too. Wim avoids. Unfortunately, does hit my Ogre. I do get to keep the Sash on Wim, so I guess I can't complain. I should be able to knock out the live bird here. But honestly, live bird did its job. It irritated the heck out of me already. Fire Punch. Perfect. Okay fine by me for now um as long as they don't go into something that has speed control i should be okay i can fake tears the ground on i still haven't shown them fake tears lunala i could fake tears ground on and then do ice beam swat lunala is gonna wide guard right
They have to. Yeah, I'm gonna fake Tears Grad on and Ice Beam it. I don't know what other options I have at the moment. Yeah, there's the Wide Guard. Okay, thankfully they don't Dynamax again. I'm really liking the fact that they're not Dynamaxing because it means I can ship down the Restricteds while they're still babies. Of course, Wider. Okay, I, at least I'm glad that I, I saw the Wide Guard coming. So much a negative one Ice Beam does. Respectable. No freezes. Goes for the precipice. Avoids the ogre, so that's good. Or the ogre avoids, rather. Boomscot's still gonna hang on there. Okay, I think I'm gonna... I don't think I have the Tailwind. Yeah, I don't think I do. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna fake tears. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna just break the shadow shield there. And then go for the water spout, assuming that they are they're gonna stop going for wide guard. I'm making a play here. I think they're gonna stop going for wide guard because they know I expect it. Yes, they did! Haha, <laughs> it worked! Oh, I can't believe that worked. Get cheesed! <laughs> That's great for us. That's a lot of damage that we just got. Right there. Here's the thing. If they trick room, we're just going to have to deal with it. You deserve to miss. You have yawn and hypnosis, dude. Oh, hypnosis with lefties? Bruh. All right. That is a spooky. That is a spooky thing. In comes dog. Okay, now I need to tailwind. Now I definitely need to Tailwind. They have Hypnosis and Wide Guard. Do they have space for Trick Room? I don't think so. So I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna Tailwind here. And protect. So I can get some more stronger Pokemon on the field, some stronger Pokemon on the field. That's fine too. Looks like they're really trying to sleep my Ogre. We're hanging on. We're definitely hanging on. All right, got the Tailwind up. Beauty. Hypnosis again. Really? Onto whim? Just cause you want to? Is that is that really what you were what we're doing? I mean, fine. Does whim threaten you? I don't know, man. All right, I'm just gonna chip the station a little bit. Also, potentially try to freeze it. Again, they're going for wide guard. I get it. But we're not falling for it. It's not like I can accomplish much this turn anyway. So that was a very safe wide guard. My only way to accomplish anything is by getting a freeze, which I don't get. Sacred Sword onto my ogre. Gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna knock me out, though. They might just protect and try to hypnosis me again. So I think that's their only win con. So I'm just going to Moonblast them. I'm going to switch to Opulse this time for more damage. They could also Wide Guard again. And if they do, they do. I kind of want to switch out into better Pokemon right now. Because right now my Pokemon are kind of dead weight. But I also don't want to walk into a Behemoth Blade. They got to think here. I'm making them think. This is a good battle. This is a very competitive battle. You know, my opponent's top 300 or top 400, whatever it was. So they know what they're doing. All right, Whim's asleep. That means I didn't wide guard. That means I, I, I played them again. But they also didn't protect with Zacian. Yo, I'm getting these wide guard calls clean. Clean. Are they finally trick rooming? Do they have trick room, dude? No, they're just, they're just doing this. Okay. I mean, sure, dude. If you really want to play that game, you can go ahead and play that game. All right. I just go into Zacian, and nine times out of ten, I have to attack the... I could imprison. Oh, I have imprison. Oh, Clark, save me. Thank you. Thank you, Clark. 
I just imprison, and then those Asians stuck. All right, yeah, we imprison here. I could go to sleep, but then the Zacian's not doing damage to me, so I also don't care. Now let's just try to wake an Ice Beam. Fingers crossed that I can. That means that they won't be able to play rough my Evil Tall, and they won't be able to B-Blade my Evil Tall, so my Evil Tall should be able to win the game against the Zacian. I just have to stop this Lunala from sleeping my whole team. Maybe I should just be bladed this Lunala, to be honest. No, but I want this in prison. This in prison is big. If I can get it. It really does just neutralize their Zacian. Yo, what if they have in prison too and they outspeed me in a speed tie? I will cry. No, they can't. I'm still tailwinded. Okay, good. So no matter what, this is good. We're fine. Oh, they still have that? Oh, they do. I should have behemoth bladed then. Am I in trouble? Uh oh. Please attack Kyogre. Oh. Okay. That's, I mean, listen. I am playing 3D chess. Yep, playing checkers, Tom. All right, we're good. We are A okay here. Sealed your Behemoth Blade. You're now a giant Lunala that wants to be Behemoth Bladed. I tell when Peters doesn't matter. All I gotta do is click B Blade. And now that you can't go for. I know, just to keep my Ogre on the field for another turn, I'm gonna protect. Just to keep it on the field. If I can. If I wake, I protect. Because the Zacian wants to attack the Ogre. Because the Zacian is kind of dead weight at this point. All right, unfortunately, I still asleep, but it's fine. The Zacian only has Sacred Sword it can use. Oh, it does it on my own Zacian and does half my health. Since when does that happen? Whoa, I do half health to Zacian's health? That's wild. Okay, I have to apparently protect with my Zacian. So that the Imprison doesn't go away. I just lost a speed tie. Am I not max speed? Hold on. I got to check. So now I don't even know. I might not be. What's the situation here with the station? I am max speed. So I just lost the speed tie. Unless it got air streamed once. I don't think so. No, I just, yeah, I just lost the speed tie. Okay, well, I will protect. I will origin. Make the attempt at least. Keep that in prison going. Sacred Sword again. Okay. They made the right prediction going to Ogre. Listen, if it comes down to a speed time, I'll be a little sad. Not going to lie. Hold on. I think a, two Sucker Punches could win me the game, though. A Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch can win, the, can win me the game. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't even have to Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch. I could just... I will, though. It's still my best option. Yeah, I'll, I'll Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch. I might be able to win just through Evil Tall. Ooh, I might not be able to. I might not be able to. Why are they outspeeding me? I'm max speed! I lost two speed ties this game. Oh, wait, no. I'm also Japanese. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Turns out we're okay. My Zacian was Japanese too. I just saw the Japanese. I was like, I lost. <laughs> GG's. And here you have the spooky team by our friend Kanto VGC. Thank you so much, Clark, for making this team public and making this team at all. It's so much fun. I do like all the cool little uh, nickname the ribbon things that you have on your Pokemon. I think they're really funny as well. Giratina got to do some things in today's video, specifically in the first and second battles. Not really too much in the last battle because I wanted to make sure I got that win. I wanted to make sure that I beat the top 400 players because sometimes I like to prove myself a little bit. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to bring the most competitive thing possible and I'm just going to whoop this top player's butt. And hey, I didn't whoop it. Right, it was kind of still a close game, but I did play very well. I'm very proud of myself for the, that last game. But regardless, grab this rental code while it's out. No idea how long Mr. Von Kerp is going to keep it out for. So, go ahead and do that.
Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead, hit the like button down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm Ken Spooky Sports. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you for when Scarlet and Violet starts to drop. And uh, yeah, have a great night. Peace out. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Maybe we should do the intro like that. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm always I'm always worried that like no okay so whenever we well, do an intro pocket sports <laughs> whenever we do an intro I'm always worried that this is the first episode that anybody's ever listened to and the closer we get to Scarlet and Violet the more likely that's actually going to be a thing it's bad enough for me whenever we start the podcast and I'm like I'm Mike and I play with one Pokemon on the field and you're like I'm Kevin and hoop to doop to do it's like <laughs> oh well. <laughs>